So I know a lot of you out there like to do comic books, graphic novels, things like that. One of the most frustrating things about using AI is that when you change your scene or change the pose of your character, or what he's doing, you lose that original character. Um, you may still get a good image, but it's not the character that you originally designed. So I've got a tip today that's going to help you a lot with that. Um, it's not perfect, but this works really good and it's very usable. So I hope you stick around. It's not that long of a video and I think you'll get a lot out of it. So the first thing we want to do is talk about prompting. Now, I know when uh, Fucus for Stable Diffusion came out, everybody was excited because it took a little amount of prompting. You could put in you know, one or two word prompt and get a really, really good result. But the thing was, is you had very little control of that result. You weren't really telling it what you wanted. You were, you maybe, you know, type in, show me the Terminator and you get a Terminator, but it's going to be different every time you hit generate. So what we need to do is we need to make sure we're telling the AI that we want our character to look a certain way. And that's with prompting. So I do my prompting in the old fashioned word pad. Um, you can do your prompting obviously directly in the box on the program, but I like to do it here because I can blow it up a little bit and it gives me some room. I'm not having to scroll up and down when my prompt starts to get too long. And then when I've got it where I want it, I just copy and paste it over in, into Fucus. Um, I'm not going to read the whole prompt out loud. It's pretty long, but I will leave it in the description in case you uh, want to use it for a template or want to read it a little closer. And I'll also leave in the description a list of the negative prompts that I use. Uh, I have a, a list of general negative prompts. So anyway, let's copy this and take it over to Fucus. So now that we're over here in the program, we're going to drop our prompt in. Um, make sure you don't have an image here. Um, sometimes I forget and leave one there. Um, if you do, you can just click disabled, but it's just best not to have one in there. Um, over on our style, we're just going to go with the Focus V2, the Enhanced Sharp, Hyper Realism, and Photograph. I don't want to over pollute it with too many, but if you're wanting to do you know, comic book versions of these, you'd want to get rid of the, the hyper, hyper Real and the photo and stuff, and then add in some of these comic check marks here. Um, so we're going to go over to the setting and I'm going to leave it on speed. I, I want these to run fast. They don't need to be high quality. When you're getting to a finished product, you might want to switch it over to quality. Then, um, I do 1344 by 704. That's as close to 16 by nine as I can seem to get on here. And it makes it easier when I'm putting them in videos. Um, leave my seed checked to random. I've dropped in my negative prompts here, which helps a lot with uh, bad anatomy and such. So we've dropped our prompt in here. Let's just go ahead and hit generate and see what we get. So now you can see we got a pretty good character. Um, this was one that I had already designed the other day and this came out almost exactly like every other time I've ran him. So that's the easy part. Um, let's change some poses. One thing that you'll, you'll run into with this is you're, you may be able to type right into the box here what you want him to do, but most of the time you're going to need to, to use an image prompt to get the posing that you want. Um, what I do is I still I go ahead in on my prompt here to the very top and at, right after the word character, before it starts describing the character, I put in what I want him to do. And I'm just going to say, let's say, uh, jump off of a wall. Now we'll go ahead and run it and see what we get. And if we don't get what we want, we'll come back and we'll add a, uh, an image prompt into it. So see, we're getting the same character, um, everything exactly the same. So we could use this picture in something, but it's still not exactly what we wanted. We're going to go ahead and stop this one. So what I'm going to do now is find me a pose on the internet that I really want to see him doing. Okay, so I found this prompt on the internet of a guy jumping off a wall. Um, when it does our character, it may not look exactly like that, but it is going to tell the AI what we're wanting it to do. Now, you know, normally if you click the very strong here, um, it'll change your, your picture dramatically and every, pretty much everything about it. Um, but when we have such a long, detailed prompt, the AI doesn't have a lot of wiggle room on that. So you'll see that it tends to stay a lot closer. So we're going to put that on very strong and we're going to click generate.
Okay, so you can see we've got my original character now jumping off of a wall. And um, it's not exactly like this down here, but this was just to tell the AI what we wanted. Now, I wish he had pants on, but, you know, if you find things that you don't like, um, you know, this isn't exactly what I wanted. So I can hit generate on this as many times as I want until I get what I'm looking for. So now we've got a pretty good one that matches our original character pretty close. So you can see how this works by this extra long prompt. You really limit the AI on the changes that it can make. Um, it's very important when you're doing these prompts, take a look at how I set mine up. Detail everything about him. Detail his eyes. Detail his you know hair if he's got hair. Detail his skin texture, um, ears, nose, everything you can think of that you can put details to do that. And... Um, the keyword hyper-realistic at the beginning is super important. That will uh, give you a much better end product than if you just leave that blank. So I'm going to drop some pictures here in the end of this character that I ran that shows you all the different poses I were, was able to get and that it never really changed the original character. So hope this helps you if this is something you were looking for. Um, if it did, leave us a like or subscribe. And if not, tell me what I can do better or how you're doing it. All right. Thanks a lot. Hey!